Hey everybody, I'm uh, Mr. Covey here, and this is the uh, recap video for Mind Blowing Mondays number nine on Exponent Properties and Rules. And basically, what I want to go over, this will be real quick, it's just there's several uh, types of weird exponents, um, and there's just different rules for dealing with those weird exponents, uh, and I just want to go over those. Cool. I trust that you guys know, like, A. When you're doing four to the third, that means it's four times four times four. Okay. You gotta do this arithmetic in your head or on paper without a calculator. So four times four is sixteen. Sixteen times four is sixty-four. I don't do calculations like that. Cool. Weird types of exponents. The first one is negative exponents. Okay. Not too bad. What's two to the negative third? Negative exponents don't make the result negative. That's not what they do. What they do is they uh, turn it into a fraction, essentially. They take whatever number has a negative exponent and they flip it. If it was in the numerator, it goes to the denominator. If it was in the denominator, it goes to the numerator. So in this case, if you just have 2 to the negative third, it's 1 divided by 2 to the positive third. So it flips to the bottom, but the exponent becomes positive. So that you can then deal with it. What's 2 to the 3rd? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 2 to the negative 3rd is 1 8. Okay. Cool. Next. Uh, an exponent of 0. This is just a flat out rule. Anything to the 0 power is 1. The only exception to that is 0 to the 0 power. Which is a confusing situation. It's not really defined. Okay. But anything else to the 0 power, even 1 to the 0 power, is 1. X to the zero power is one. Cool. Uh, the last one and the most confusing one is you know, fractional exponents. Okay. And we'll talk about the second semester in more detail, but I'll tell you the generic rule and then I'll tell you what one you should definitely know. But if you want to do some number X to a fraction exponent, say like M over N power, You can rewrite it as a root, as a radical, where the denominator becomes like what root you're doing, like a square root or a cube root or a fourth root or a fifth root. And then the numerator of the fraction stays with the base. Okay. So like 5 to the 3 fourths power, the way to kind of calculate that or a way to rewrite that would be the fourth root of 5 cubed. And we'll talk more about that. Um, but uh, what that means is if you have anything to the one-half power, it becomes the square root of that number. Yeah. So what's 9 to the one-half? Well, that's the same as square root of 9, so that's 3. You need to be able to do that calculation by hand. What's the one-third power? Well, 8 to the one-third power is the same as the cube root of 8, which is 2. Those are two examples of calculations you should be able to do by hand. Okay. Um, I'll end by saying just really quickly, I hope that, that you know what I mean when I say weird exponents. Because if you think about your normal understanding of exponents and you see something like 9 to the 1 half power, it's like it's, it's 9 times 9 times, but only half a 9. Like, what, what does that even make? Half a 9? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. And same, and same with exponent of zero and negative exponent. And so there are these rules that deal with them that do make sense mathematically, but um, a little bit weird. Okay. So I hope that uh, refreshes your memory on some of these. Uh, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, guys.